everyone today we're learning how to draft our own trouser block with our own body measurement from start to finish you don't need any knowledge or pattern cutting knowledge for this so i can take you guide you through this tutorial so if you're interested please keep on watching what i just have here is some masking tape uh measuring tape some sharpie uh drawing pencil pen um, pattern master scissors for paper and uh, I don't have a long ruler because it's gonna be a trouser so if you have like a long ruler you go ahead and use that I'm just gonna use this for me <laughs> so first we're gonna need uh, some measurements of course so I have a list here uh, vertical measurements which is your waistline so that would be like the top where we start from and then going down you measure from your waist to your hip again i'm just going to show an illustration so the body rise or the crotch like you know here what you need to do is just like sit on a chair and then you can measure from your side measure from your side from your waistline to the point where you where basically your your butt is sitting on the chair and uh, if you can also add like 1.5 centimeter just to add some ease to that from there you measure down going to your knee level obviously and from your knee level you measure to the hemline it's basically how long you want your garments to be and then two more measurements we're gonna measure um, horizontal so basically you measure your waistline along your entire waist your circumference of the waist and also your hip that's like the widest part of your hip line so basically between the front and the back you need to leave like some space in between because we're gonna have to extend the crotch that's why so i'm gonna leave a gap like between 20 to 30 centimeters so that's my back i'm just gonna draw a straight line That's the top, that's the waist. Nine. So from the top, take your hip measurement. Now I'm gonna take my hip measurement. So the entire hip measurement around your hip, you divide that into four, so into a quarter because we're working in a quarter, quarter and a quarter, so. And you take that same measurement and measure all the way to your body rise, to your um, knee, so then you connect from the west to the hip line to the knee to the hemline. gonna do now is then extend the uh, the crotch by the body rise length 
you can extend like until 15 centimeters so to say so I'm gonna go for a um, 12 centimeter extension so that's the center bag by the way <laughs> center front and the center bag is larger than the center front so the extension will be twice than the front so the front will be half of that measurement so for me 12 and from the back I'll go down by one centimeter so from the top on the back measurement I'm gonna measure one centimeter from the side seam from the side for the back and just draw a line to join the hip and from the front also draw one centimeter so from the side seam two centimeters as well At the hip line, I'm gonna measure three centimeters going up. Connect that to the side seam. Same three centimeter again. So now is measure from the side seam the extension. Okay, so half of that 7.5. So from the half, I'm gonna measure going to the side seam 1.5 centimeter. From the front, do the same. So I'm just finding the middle. So again, the measurement from the side seam to the crotch on either side, half of it for the back, half of it, then one centimeter going to the side seam, then square up and down, and that's the crease line or the green line. So just gonna put some arrows there. So the grand line is also the line, you know, like when you see these tailor trousers where they have like pleats, where they crease the pleats and then that's the line we're gonna use. So now I'm just gonna determine the um, length between the waist line and the hip on both sides. So this would be the mid hip. So now, to, uh, to work out the darts, you're gonna take your waist measurement 
you divide by four so a quarter of your waist measurement write that down then we're gonna measure the unfinished hem so for the front part I have my unfinished hem I have the figure which is nine minus the quarter of my waistline so I have an inch difference so for me I'm gonna take an inch half of an inch and then draw the dots until the hip mid hip line So the same for the back, measure your unfinished hem, take that figure minus the quarter of your waistline. So now we're just gonna shape this side at uh, the the leg side the leg shape we're gonna shape the leg so <laughs> so um what i did for myself is i just measured around the uh the thigh like mid thigh around here and that measurement half of it was for me it was 12 from the crease line i'm sorry from the grain line for the front as well then as well take half of my knee then For me, I don't like to have my trousers very tight, so I'm just gonna kind of keep it the same from the knee. Yeah, so just make sure that whatever you get Whatever you are reducing, it's always the it's always the equal amount to the on both sides, so to say. So from the center, whatever you are reducing is the equal amount on both sides. So and just to like do some marking. So what I am gonna do is uh, mark the mark the grain line. Just like make it clear marking on the grains because these are all important points as you pattern cut and sew so the grain line because when cutting i'm gonna have to notch this so that would be my notch So I'm gonna go ahead and test out this because that's just what I like to do. So I'm gonna add my seam allowances, uh, cut it out. For me, I'm gonna cut it out, but in your case, uh, of course, you're gonna see how it fits on me. <laughs> then uh, if it's the, like the right fit, you can test yours out. Um, usually I would uh, leave this as the master pattern 
so every time you wanna like make a different style of, of pants or trousers you just come and press this and then you can alter it to your style but in my case I have lots of patterns so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut mine <laughs> so I'm gonna add my seam allowances and then cut it and then cut the fabric as well and uh, guys just a small tip but valuable uh, like when you're practicing to sew you don't always have to like use your your um, your normal fabrics <laughs> as you can see for me I just used an old sheet an old bed sheet I'm just gonna use that and of course it's cotton so you can save money while you practice the sew because sewing can be expensive so save your coins sis. actually the finished sample from the west I like my pants to be high west I just pinned up the sides from the hip area so I could get in the pants obviously <laughs> um, for me there is enough room for me to sit squat and it is comfortable I like them and I also like the uh, the shape of the legs but not too not super wide not tight because I just like that oversized comfortable feel I like 